In EC Arena hosting a very big crowd. Semi-final one already done and dusted. Jamaica 67 over New Zealand 51. England start with a centre pass off the hands of Jade Clark in the red to your right of screen. And the Australian Diamonds, a job to do tonight. Oh, that's a big win early. There's an offside call against Jade Clark, the most experienced English Rose. Early opportunity here for the Diamonds. Well, Brazil had no idea what she wanted to do with that ball eventually. It was a penalty call, so the Diamonds go. Maloney in the middle. Steph Wood, she is the playmaker out the front. Yeah, Lizzie Watson tried to burrow through again, and again it's Jay Clark that's on the end of the penalty. Australia looking slick early. So they steal the first one off the English Roses, courtesy of an offside call. Pueta works with the oh, captain. Oh, oh lovely the over the top from Lizzie Watson to Gretel Buetta. And the miss. Well, that happened. That exact same thing happened in the game against Jamaica. A great take. Missed the first shot of the game. Gretel Buetta right underneath the post. So nerves, understandably. Head coach Stacey Marinkovic. Biggest game of her life to date. Well, three penalties against Jay Clark very, very early here. Steph Wood thought about offloading, and she shouldn't because she had a terrific game in terms of accuracy. Oh, she's exciting, Layla Gusketh, isn't she? Played with the Adelaide Thunderbirds for a couple of years and has returned home to Team Bath. Continuing to do great stuff as a doctor. Ash Brazel, oh, I've got to coverage. put it out there already, having a much better game. The first ball cover and a few tips early as well. Far too far off the contest in the Jamaican game. Here's Cardwell watching on. So Bruce called for contact and listened to the crowd. I want to woo her out of the game. Interesting, Kath. These sides met in that quad series in January. Australia went on to win that, having a dominant last quarter. Unfold. It's been a very long opening quarter because a goalpost got injured. One of a better word. And we had to delay the game. Kate Maloney letting Nat Metcalf know all oh. about it, Joe. The drive and the release, confidence there as well. Smart work. It was either going to be free to Harden or it was going to pull the penalty. So holding on to their lead here, Australia. Steph Wood put under pressure on that first delivery from Maloney. You wet her out, so they'll work their craft here. Wood through the middle and then offloads oh. to Gretel. You wet her. What a take, Gretel. Oh, gee. It's getting more and more athletic in every single challenge. You, you could put the six highlights together just of her taking ball over mentor at the moment. Like I said, player of the series. Oh. <laughs> well, Lizzie Watson did well to cover Clark for as long as she did. Nearly held ball. Oh, gee, that was a very hesitant pass from Metcalf. You could feel the nerves as the ball was released. And Joe Weston. And Housby. Big shot off the hand of Helen Housby. Needed by the Roses. And she walked back with the chest out. The Helen Housby strut. We haven't seen the fist pump yet, and the arms raising the roof. That is likely to come. Starts with the strut, doesn't it? And it goes upwards. Oh, there you go. Big win. One too many forced in from the Australian Diamonds. Lesson learnt. Guska through 
to Clark and Francis Bayman down the line. And then oh, the contest Basel. from Ashley Brazzle. Well, that's exactly what we've been asking of the wing defence. No, she's capable of it. So he spoils the approach for England. Wood opening up Maloney in the pocket. Quick hands again with Wood. Needs to turn and drop for Australia. Not on the siren. Oh, gee. That would have been a welcome goal by the Diamonds. But a good start off a delayed approach in this 15. And the Australian Diamonds will head to the first break, leading England by three, 15 to 12. Great vision there of Chiva Mentor and Gretel Buetta. Malcolm, there she is. So it's Australia and England. Oh, contest from Courtney Bruce. The Diamonds up by three at the end of the first quarter. No changes to their line. And Laura Malcolm, as we mentioned, on to centre for the Roses. Jade Clark into wing defence. What do you think of those? Interesting, because I felt like Frances Bayman was having a good go there at wing defence. She was playing a good game. Whether this is about more attack coming from Jade Clark, just having a little bit more reliable hands down through the middle and that experience. So if you've just joined us, we've had a whole bunch of scenarios unfold in this first quarter. Some we've never seen before, including a goalpost bent. Maloney. Well, the issue for England is that home crowd is going to be silenced if Australia keep this sort of scoreboard pressure up. And they need them in this oh, contest. Geez. So contact Liz Watson. It was great defensive play by Jade Clark. So an opportunity here for England. Here's Clark. Great option through the middle, Metcalf. That's what they need, those strong drives. No one coming here for England. Who wants it? Who's going for the ball? Pocket. Conti well, that's a that's Brazil's favourite moment, isn't it? The big contest in the pocket. Oh, Carbo looks a little nervous for me. Bit of a pressure cooker to enter into, isn't it? Oh, I think she likes pressure cookers, though. Well, I have the feeling we're about to find out. So does Housby move back to goal shooter? No, I'd leave her out there. Well, Cardwell's got the goal attack bib on. Well, I guess it <laughs> looks like that's going to be what happens. Helen Housby's great back at shooter. She's played there a lot this season with the Swifts because of the injury to Sam Wallace. Missing in the final. Does she do that again tonight? Hopefully not for the Diamonds. Oh, good oh, vision Joe but Joe Weston. Now well, pleading to the umpire that it came off Cardwell. It's got a little bit of everything at the moment this game. I bet you the Jamaicans are sitting watching oh, going, keep going simple. at each oh. other. We're loving, belt each other up. They will so be rubbing speak. their hands together with glee, won't they, watching this contest. That Smart work. Joe Harden, a screen for the ball right and then a quick one too. Still hasn't missed Joe Harden, 11 from 11. So scoreline back to six. Three goal lead by the Diamonds at quarter time and they've stretched that out. Another person down oh. this time, Jeeva Mentor, where they can get to Buetta if they're quick. Plenty of time on the clock and that's a terrific option. Buetta, strong at the post, lovely delivery from Lizzie Watson. So 25 seconds to play till half time. Cardwell. Yeah, sure is Courtney Bruce. Well, well it's happening from no both players. But it's they're looking for it, so you've got to adjust. Goal defense obstruction. So five seconds. Hartnell will try and get that ball back quickly. One second. 
time won't worry. And Siren goes. So Australia go into the half time here. As Jo Harton pleads with the umpire that she got it wrong, but she won't. It'll be Australia's centre pass when we come back. But at the halfway mark, Australia hold on to their lead. They stretch it out now, 29 to 23. So the Diamonds here with the ball to get us started in this second half. Leading by six goals, 29 to 23. And a held ball, so no better time to start like that for the England Roses. It's what they do now with the ball. Helen Housby still keeping those legs warm on the bike. Contact with defence at the top. And Kath, no changes for either side. No, not surprised by that either. Thought potentially Housby back into it, but I did love the way Corbell came on and really shook it up, didn't she? Lifted another level just with the attitude. Brought some physicality to the contest as well. There she is with the ball in hand. Malcolm combines with Harton. Smart swing to the top of the circle to open it up. And then Cordwell, the casual one-arm take. That's how strong she is. So the first two to England. And the confidence out of the halftime break. There it is. You can see the fend with the other arm. Cordwell, smart to protect herself. Oh, gee, Maloney was there. It should have been given straight away by Wood. I'm not sure what she was waiting for. They get there in the end, though, the Diamonds. As I said earlier, they've weathered a storm here. And they've come out on top. That's a dangerous ball, isn't it? The passes that England are choosing to make are not percentage plays. Dicey decisions, but really that's all they've got at the moment. That's Bruce. a smart one. Up the middle, keeping it short. Joe Hart and the experience. So a steadier from Joe Hart and a much needed one though for the England Roses. Trailing now by eight, six down at half time. Nowhere to go for Maloney except backwards to Brazzle, who was flying through undefended. Look at the speed up this end. There is always an option. There's always a connection with the Diamonds. Liz Watson and Kate Maloney readily available right on the circle edge. It's a game plan that's working tonight against England. Buetta over the back. Didn't go to... Corbyn will go back to goal shooter. Let's see what this change can spark. Well, nothing. Well, nothing. And Metcalf, who's been dynamite for the Roses. For me, Ashley Brazzle has got her number. Absolutely got a number and has since the first centre pass. Wood, confident shot from the vice captain. Falls short and it's Francis Bayman with the rebound. So another chance here for England. Metcalf. Oh, gee, good strong take from Cardwell. Got to be careful, Carvel, though. Look how strong she is. Already had a talking to by the umpire. Well, Courtney Bruce just gave her a talking to then on the rebound. What a pick up for the Adelaide Thunderbirds Contact for next Frank. season. Corbell. Swing the fins, contact. Last minute of play about to tick down. Wood, free as a bird. Look at them both resting on Buetta. Well, that's dangerous. Because Steph Wood is 13 goals now from 16. Francis Bayman a long way down, helping out in attack. And the big split. Well, it's become a bit of a signature of a good goal shooter, hasn't it? Janelle Fowler, Gretel Buweta, one of the best at it. 25 seconds, plenty of time here for the Aussies to score. They can use the clock if they want. Maybe. We're forced to at the moment. Yes. yes, well, there you go. That's what happens playing the ball around a little too much. Yeah, so they need to go quickly here, England. They want the score and they'll come back with their centre pass. Oh, gee, Cardwell thought about it and eventually drops one in. So a little momentum for the England Roses off the back of that moment there from Helen Housby. So they do go in to the final break behind. 
But they might just get their backs up a little off the back of that. 45 to 36 before the last 15 minutes to unfold here in semi-final two. And for the Australians, that's what they want because they have only ever been in gold medal and silver medal territory in every Commonwealth Games appearance. So here we go, folks. Buckle in for the last 15. It's Australia leading by nine and been controlling this game from the start. Catherine, I'm going to come to you right now and ask, do they hold on? They do. Yep, they're playing too well at the moment, looking too sharp, looking quietly confident too, I think, here, the Aussie Diamonds. I reckon they'll be very wrapped with what they've put out there in the first three quarters. Lovely coverage by Weston. And then a contact call goes on Courtney Bruce. She was just about everywhere through that passage of play, though. Cardwell, strong in front. Nice little finish. Oh, oh gee. Well, Look at getting, the elbow. It's getting more and more physical in that circle, isn't it? We've seen a little bit of push and shove, but nothing to that degree as yet. It was Courtney Bruce and Joe Harton earlier. Now it's Corbell stepped in there. And that's a huge win. Well, that's one of the misplaced balls going in to Griddle Bowetta. They don't come up with it, though, the Roses. Watson has to swing open to Maloney. All tied up in the circle and goes again. Who opens up here for the Diamonds? Bowetta won't like that range. Starting to disrupt here, England. Will the movement stop for Australia, though? So who's that the fault of? Well, difficult in those pockets, isn't it? Because there's just not much width to the court. Well, get out. Get out of them. Oh, gee. I know. This moment right here. <laughs> if England can get ball here, things change. Diamonds now under pressure. Buetta. Well, don't England know it as well, though, Sue? So look at the defensive pressure. It's gone another level. This is exactly where Australia tightened the other night. Played too short into the hands of Jamaica. Or oh, have they learnt their lesson? Well, Stacey Marenkovic would be feeling nervous just off the back of what happened the other night. But Steph Wood carries on. That was a smile of relief. Gretel Bowetta cannot sing her praises enough. 41 from 42, 98%. And so much of that under enormous pressure. So the Diamonds here with two minutes left to play. They've set this game up from the very first whistle. Got themselves out to a three goal lead in the first quarter, 15 to 12. And boy, it's been a battle. Housby off to Cardwell. And it's hard not to call this cat without a smile on your face. Joe Weston, been terrific tonight. Worked tirelessly. Maloney, again. Looks like she could run a marathon after this. Just over a minute to play here. Beside the goal shooter, goal defence. Goal defence. The Diamonds are on their feet. The hands on the head for the English Roses. Oh, they can't believe it. They were so hopeful, weren't they, England? Their win in 2018, it was a shock to Aussie fans. It was a shock to the players from Australia. But they haven't been able to come back on home turf and repeat it. The Diamonds on the other hand, Catherine Cox. Well, they will enjoy this last 40 seconds. Well, won't they? They would have been a little concerned by their performance, particularly that last quarter and the sort of mentality that they got themselves in. They have turned that on its head in this performance. 
and they'd love to finish this with the four quarters. They're up by one in this final quarter. They hang on here. They can take them all. Well, possibly one last one here for Cardwell as it drops in. But it'll be a little too late for the England side, won't it? Because the Australian Diamonds have ruined the gold medal party for England. And what a victory it is for the Diamonds. They will march their way into a gold medal playoff tomorrow night against Jamaica. And redemption against the English. And tomorrow night it will be revenge against Jamaica. So the Diamonds, 60 to 51 is your final result. And Australia hold on to their clean record of competing in every gold medal game since netball has been at the Commonwealth Games.